Dominic Dawes Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joined now with Dominic Dawes, head coach of the men's ice hockey team. And coach, three, your last three games have trav- have gone into overtime periods. You split them this this weekend with a win against Fredonia in the first game and a tie uh, coming back to tie them. Uh, talk a little bit about that first game for you. Well, the first game was a uh, uh, penalties were, were the, the issue of the game. Uh, I, th- I think they had 10 power plays to our to our three. Um, so I think penalty kill becomes a huge component, and those guys gave us the opportunity to, to win the game. Um, we don't kill off those, you know, those penalties. Um, we don't even have a chance to, to chance to win. Obviously, you want to be more disciplined and, and not be in the penalty box uh, 10 times, but you know, it, it happens. It's, it's part of it, mm-hmm. and uh, I think we did a good job of just kind of sticking through it, staying the course, and um, taking advantage of opportunity late in the game. And killing off a really long uh, p- penalty for you guys was a five-minute major. Yeah. No, it's big. I mean, anytime you can do that, I think it's just a momentum lift for your for your team. Uh, and, and I think that's what it was for us on uh, on Friday night, and kind of just helped us uh, helped us moving forward. And then a huge goal in overtime, the breakaway chance for Mike Davis and depositing it in the net to give you the win. Yeah, no, I, I think big a uh, big night for him. All in all, um, I know he's been frustrated. He hasn't been able to put the puck in the net. Um, as much as he's, he'd like to this year. So I think it's good. He got a couple um, Friday night, so kind of got the monkey off his back, and hopefully it's a good start for, uh, you know, kind of things to come here this semester. And let's talk about that second game. You guys start down 2 nothing, and then come back in the third to score two. A uh, big catalyst in that comeback was your goaltender in net. For sure, yeah. No, I mean, Jake absolutely gave us uh, an opportunity to, you know, stay in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, I, I think – the penalty kill played a big, big role. Uh, we took another five-minute penalty, unfortunately, late uh, mm-hmm. in, in the second period. Um, got out of there with just just the one of the one against. Um, so I, I think we kind of took a little bit of a small victory there with only uh, with going in the third period, only down two. Um, I think energy. I think we were banged up and tired from the night before, and mm-hmm. I think energy played a big impact in the in the game. But uh, credit to the guys and and kind of um, not giving up and, and staying the course and taking advantage of a couple opportunities in the third period and, um, you know, kind of a, a gritty a gritty tie. You know, not that you ever like to tie, but, um, you know, we kind of battled back and went from there. And it, it kind of had to be a gritty performance from the guys. Like you said, they were banged up. You guys played real tough the day before. It was a really long game with all the deliberations and then penalties, like you said. So it was. it's impossible to not be banged up for the second game. Yeah, I mean, it, and – the other, I mean, the biggest, I think, thing for us going into the second night was then we lost a guy to a five-minute penalty again, um, and then we lost a guy to an injury. So we were down mm-hmm. a couple guys. Um, but, you know, we made some adjustments, and guys bought into what we what we did. And, um, you know, I, I said to the guys after the game, I, for us and where we're at and being a young program, um, we need to take that as a small victory mm-hmm. to show that, hey, you know what, we didn't play our best the first two periods. But we stayed the course, gave ourselves an opportunity to be in the game, and then push came to shove. We were able to battle back and um, you know, get the two goals and win the third period. It definitely showed some resiliency from Friday to Saturday, and you're going to need that resiliency again with a short week playing Lebanon Valley on Tuesday night. For sure. I mean, this I, I told the guys after the game, I, this is, as of this point, probably the biggest game in this this program's history. Um, our goal from day one here is, is to make the playoffs. And, mm-hmm. um, so the league game. Um, the team that's behind us in the standings, uh, we can't afford to give up those uh, those two points. So uh, we've got to be got to be ready to go. It'll be an exciting game for sure. Another couple of exciting games when you guys travel up to Brockport and then uh, Geneseo over the weekend. For sure, no, I mean that that'll be a good test for us th- this weekend. Uh, Brockport's always a very very strong team. Um, Geneseo is the top. I'm not sure where they're at right now, but top five, top ten team in the country has been you know to a, a final a couple final fours in the last mm-hmm. few years. So. Um, it'll be a great test to us to you know, just kind of keep keep moving forward and keep trying to get better. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck with this Lebanon Valley game again Tuesday night uh, against Lebanon Valley at the Reisterstown Sportsplex and then safe travels up for those Brockport and Geneseo games. Absolutely. We appreciate it. He's Dominic Dawes. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Dominic Dawes Show.